I see you in the garden on a winter afternoon. I'll say it's an odd time to be planted. It's the craziest world we do. <laughs> oh. And then we'll laugh about the time you broke my heart in your backyard. We did everything become so easy Back then it felt so hard Today is a day that I've looked forward to for most of my life. It's the day that my little sister, one of the most important people in my life, marries a man who loves her completely. Hannah and Harlan are two people who found each other young came back to each other in good time, and a lot of their story has been about timing. Hannah would tell me about her best friend, another anime-loving goth kid with a razor-sharp sense of humor. That part's right. <laughs> the first time I saw them together, I could only think that they were both trying very hard not to like each other that way. <laughs> Hello, Mommy. Wait, are you ready? Don't make me cry, Mama. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> no, you got to. <laughs> I feel beautiful. I love so. Oh. Yeah, I do too. I was gonna tell you that. That's so cute. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I love you, Mama. I love you. Bye, mommy. Bye. Bye. It really feels like this marriage is him coming home joining our family like he was always meant to be. Harlan, you treat my sister with such respect, love, and silliness that I know she will be happy for her entire life. We tell anyone who asks that we met on the first day of seventh grade. You always mention telling me that my eyes were gold, but my first memory is always the pretty girl sitting next to me in social studies reading a book about dragons. I didn't know that I loved you back then. I didn't know what love felt like, but I did love you. I love you as a person and as my best friend, and that love soon deepened into a romantic love. A love that persisted through all the years we spent apart. I'm so happy that everything I've gone through has shaped me into a man deserving of your love. And I know that I will love you until my last breath. And until that last breath, I will spend our time together cooking all the foods you want to try, <laughs> laughing and doting on the family we formed together, listening to all the things about your job that infuriate you, <laughs> holding you in my arms when you need comfort, and acting goofy in all the moments in between. My love will always be something you can count on. Come heaven, or come hell. Harlan, I've never fully told this story to anyone, but I'm afraid of the dark. As I got older, I developed parameters to keep myself safe. I would stretch across the king-size bed, press my toes against Katie's leg, and repeat to myself, as long as I'm touching my sister, I'm safe. <laughs> and I don't know if it was cosmic alignment, fate, or just plain dumb luck that the desk next to you was empty in Coach Pope's seventh grade homeroom class, but I found you, who likes to fall asleep while touching me. You have been one of my one constants in life. <laughs> <laughs> and so I vow to always be goofy with you, that you will always have an adoring audience for your cooking, <laughs> and that you will always be my best friend. I love you. I love you too. Hannah, do you take Harlan as your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold until death do you part? I do. Oh, wait, I, I, I think you need to put the ring on him. I don't know how weddings work. Me neither. I've never been married. Left hand. <laughs> Harlan, do you take Hannah as your lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold until death do you part? I always did. By the power vested in me by the internet, <laughs> I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> I present to you. <laughs> so come heaven, or come hell. I know we'll make it. Through. 
with quite a story to tell. And I will stop ever loving you. I always touch my toes to you. I know you do. <laughs>